Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot, a man with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Welcome back to the district of North East Derbyshire. Now the next three videos, including this one that I have in this district, are all small villages within huge areas. And this one is absolutely no exception to that rule. There are two main settlements in this one with a handful of little other hamlets too. And where I'm starting here is actually right on the edge of Chesterfield. In fact, part of this parish uh, touches the unparished area of Chesterfield. And I'm beginning here in a place called Walton. And um, this parish is weird in that it doesn't actually cover all of Walton, it only covers a tiny little bit of it. And this is where we're going to begin before we head off to the much bigger area in this one. This is the parish of Holy Moorside and Walton. So here at this house, just a little bit short of Somersby Avenue, is the boundary between Holy Moorside and Walton and the unparished area of Chesterfield. And that's really as much of Walton as is covered. There's a housing estate which is behind this house you can see in shot here. Uh, I will be walking back down that road in a moment just to have a look around that. But for the rest of the parish, it's all this way, it's all out here. And if you follow this road, where the bus is just going now, you'll come to Holy Moorside, which is a lot bigger and has quite a lot more for us to get our teeth into. Let's just finish off Walton first and then we'll head down to Holy Moorside.
rest of this estate is pretty much the same thing so there's no point walking around it all it's just more of the same style of housing this newer build style of housing that we're used to uh, from other places that I've been so now let's hop back into the car and head for Holy Moorside for today's main walk around So in the valley down there is a river and it's called the River Hipper and that gives its name to a hall, Hipper Hall, which is our next main landmark to go and find. And to do that we have to head to the right here, out of the Village Hall car park and up Holy Moor Road. Okay, so after the main walk around today, we are going to be driving up this road because up there is where you'll find Holy Moorside's primary school. Now the village did have an old primary school, we're going to catch that uh, in a little while as we carry on walking around the village. Plenty more to see here yet.
those little silver plaques are quite helpful, aren't they? It helps you identify what's what. Didn't know about the Methodist Church. That was uh, something that was new to me. Uh, didn't, did a bit of research before I came here. Didn't see that anywhere, so that's helpful. Okay, the road starts to go uphill now, and we're heading towards uh, something called Dennis's Lane, which is a bridle way. And uh, there's uh, a story behind that. We'll talk about that when we get there. Now my route around the village is actually going to omit most of New Road down there. Uh, that, if you would follow it, would lead you back towards the village hall, towards the, uh, the pubs. Uh, but we're going this way because the old school is the next thing to see, which is right here. And there's a footpath down the side of this, which takes us towards the old mill pond, and that's the route that I'll be using.
Okay, now we come to Cotton Mill Hill. And unusually for a village of this size, there are two churches. And the first one is right behind me. That is St. Peter's Church. And then in a few moments, we'll check the other one out, which is almost dead opposite right there. Okay, here I am once again on a bridge over, I think this is the river, although the river does seem to run down there as well, so it maybe splits into two, I'm not sure. Uh, but there's a little stream here, even if this isn't the River Hipper. And this is where I'm going to be uh, ending the main walk around Holy Moorside. And that just means there's one more thing to catch, and that's the primary school. And we're gonna head up there in the car in a second. But before that, time for today's picture bit. Here it comes.
And that, my friends, is the parish of Holy Moorside and Walton. What a lovely little village this is as well. Not forgetting Walton, of course, because that's also a lovely area of Chesterfield too. And if you come here, I wholly recommend you check out everything that I've covered in this video. It's a beautiful place. There's probably things I haven't covered too, but that's your job now to let me know down there in the comments if there is anything else here in Holy Moorside or in Walton which I could have included in the video. But for now, I'm off to my next village in North East Derbyshire. So I've been Andy, I've been the Village Idiot, and this has been the parish of Holy Moorside and Walton. And I'm out.